Hey, this is John Young. Today we are looking at a, a flexible duct. This is from Vivor, V-E-V-O-R. This is a 12 inch by 25 foot. And I've got a few, a, three different uses that I, why I wanted to get this. So I'm gonna kind of go and show these to you. Uh, I'm not gonna be using it right now because there are three specific uses for times of the year uh, that we're gonna have with our houses. But what this is is a 12 inch in diameter, 25 foot, and it has, the, the ends of it have basically these little areas will, that will help to seal it onto an area and to be able to allow it to, uh, to move air from one area to another with a fan. So the three areas, what I wanna do is I, when you're going to be using, there's two different winter versions of why I want this, and there's one in it for the summer. First off, in the summertime, there's times where the upper floor of the house is very warm, especially if we've had a very sunny day and the windows, uh, if we left the, the shades down, the upper floor on the house can be very warm and the lower part can be very cool. Well, what this will allow me to do is I can extend this out to its 25 feet and then I can take, I'm just gonna kind of get this all, and then I can take the take the unit and I can actually attach it to like a, a floor, a blower for the floor. Now this is just a, this is when that, when the, the dog dump their water dish and you mop it up. This is what we use to basically help dry the floor. But what's kind of cool about this is that we can go and we can attach this and snug this up around this part here. And I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to just put a little pause here and I'm going to do this so we can show you how this would work. And now I've got it kind of tied on here, just basically I've, I've kind of snugged it around here. And keep in mind, this is not going to be a high, uh, high uh, pressure thing as far as all this is really doing is catching the air. So I've got it around the end of the blower. I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna turn the blower on. And now it inflates. And now what it's doing is it's going to be able to be one of those things that I can, you can, you can kind of see that it's blowing, there's, there's air coming through it. But what this will allow me to do is to be able to put this, say upstairs, if I could put it up high enough and blow that warm air downstairs and it would circulate. Or more importantly, as I put this downstairs and blow that cool air upstairs. Yes, it's not gonna be the nicest looking thing kind of going up the steps, but on those severely warm days where it's it's literally 15 to 20 degrees, I could go and put this little this little fan on the downstairs and I could run this upstairs and within probably a half an hour, it's gonna blow enough air, move enough of that cooler air upstairs and help circulate some of that and help tremendously. So there's up there's one for in the middle of summer. Now the other two, uh, two applications are going to be more winter related. First off, I want to show you this. This is a picture of our little wood stove. And this wood stove is something that feeds into our ductwork of our house. It's kind of a very common uh, situation here in the upper Midwest where you have the wood stove and it feeds into the, the air exchange system or the duct uh, ductwork there into the cold air return. It gets it goes past the, the uh, furnace and then of course it gets pushed out. So that works when we have electricity. But there are times where we get like an ice storm here this past week we had a little bit and there was predictions of more that the electricity we lose that well what this is going to allow me to do is is go let's back to that picture one more time take a look at this picture one more time and right on the front of that you see that there is a, a duct coming out of there or a vent coming out of there that is basically a piece of stove pipe that is eight inches in diameter now I can take this and I can actually go and I could take that elbow off and slide this on top of it or I could even turn the elbow and put that on snug this up I can take this down so it will be able to seal up uh, pretty well around that eight inch. Now I can take and put the heat from the room and then I can put some sort of a battery backup on that blower on there, uh, the, that little blower on the back of that. And that would allow me to blow air around in the kind of middle part of the house. Or in this case with a 25 foot, I can actually take this and put it to the back part of the house. So I could actually have this warm air going to the back of the house and then kind of coming back, the, the cool air would come back in and we do this, this whole thing of uh, moving air around the house so on those days where we would lose electricity and have an issue this would become an option to be able to move warm air around the house using our current wood stove in the house and I can hook up something like a jackery. I've got a couple of different jackeries. We keep one that's, that's charged full time in the house as a backup, um, but it would be able to run for a long time on low and really be able to keep the house uh, from freezing, which is an important part. So that's number two. The third one, 
And this was one I was most excited about is you see right here, this is an air intake for our air exchange system on the house. We have a basically an air, an air in there and an air out there. Take a look at this picture. Our, our chimney for that wood stove we were talking about is kind of up into the, uh, to the right of this picture. You can kind of see it up there. Lower left is where that air intake is. Now the problem with that is that if we have a northwest wind, that wind will come across, it'll, get, it'll take any smoke from that chimney, and it brings it over the edge of the house and drops it down right here. A west wind, a northwest wind, a southwest wind, it just is, it's amazing how, with our roof, how it works is that wind comes over and it drops the smoke right here. On those days, if we have, if we have a week of the, that type of wind, or we, there have been times we've had two weeks of that type of wind between the southwest, west, and the northwest wind, we can have a lot of moisture buildup in the house. With showers and different things, the house can get actually very, very wet if we are running a wood stove and uh, we don't have any air being exchanged because the house is sealed up pretty well. What, what I'm going to do with this, and this is, this is the big one I'm actually going to be uh, setting it up for here today, is I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be going and mounting it and putting it over the air intake here for the air exchange. Then I'm going to take this, and I'll, here's a picture of it, I'm going to be taking it down to the edge, end of the house, past that gutter that's all the way down there, and I'm going to be able to utilize this to go and be able to pull air from the north side of the house. So if we have a northwest wind, this is gonna be pulling fresh air out of the north, from the north. If we have a west wind, that comes over and drops right here, but it's not over there. The only time that that won't work is if I have a southwest wind, which doesn't happen very often in the wintertime, but it does happen occasionally. So this would be basically the, the time when I look at the, the, the forecast and it's saying, yeah, we're gonna have like a week of northwest wind coming through. It's gonna be cold and we're gonna have everything coming from that direction. I can come out here and be able to install this and cover it up, cover up and catch it on the, the trim here and tighten it up and then I'll be able to run it. I'm going to have a couple of hooks here that I'm going to hold it up in the air so it's above the doorway here. You can see there's a door, there's a light next to it. I'm going to hook it above that so it's basically going to hang kind of in front of the gutters here and then it'll be kind of on the north side of the house where it will become the air intake for that. So I'm really kind of excited about this because I think that this is going to be one of those tools that is only going to be used a couple of times a year but when I need it and when I the house needs it this is going to be a fabulous thing that will be able to uh, give us some benefit that we haven't had. So I'm going to go and put, get it put on here and uh, make sure I get it ready to go. So then that when the time comes, it just walk out and put it on there. So uh, thank you guys for watching. This is John Young. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. By the way, they have a lot of different sizes. This is the 12 inch. There's an, I think there's a 10 inch and there might be even other sizes out there. Different lengths out there too. So yeah, we're just going to get, uh, get onto this and we will catch you guys next time. Hey, and this is what it will look like kind of at the end, of, just to give you an idea, is I was putting some, some straps on here to see how well it would work. And it, yeah, this is uh, the north side of the house. It's gonna basically sneak around here and be able to pull that, that air from the north side here. So just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like, uh, it's not the greatest, it's not the prettiest, but it's gonna be effective and it's gonna only be up there for a few days out of the year. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.